I'm Elsion the Great, and welcome to Kingdoms of Amalur, my personal favorite game of all time. Now, there will be a little adjustment to this series. As you guys know, I have been exceptionally excited to bring you what I call a Pure Warrior Douchebag series. Now, I still want to do that, but I decided that it was probably the best if I didn't try to do it uh, and like show it to you guys. Not because it's, you know, like not cool, but because a lot of the bad, like, quote, bad options in the game will require a lot and lot of good to get to. So I just decided to go ahead and we're just going to go play the game as it should be. Obviously, if you go here, I have beaten the game twice here. I've beaten it at least twice on the PS3, because that's the only game uh, console it's located on. But it's time for a new game. As for the downloadable content, I will be using the two... Uh, I will be using and going to the, um, the two quests uh, that are DLC. Uh... And I'll talk more about it later. Uh, we will do casual, because I always do casual, enjoying the game at my leisure. And I believe, once it's done loading, we will have a cutscene, so I'm going to shut up. From the beginning, we were wrong. And only now, well into the second decade of the conflict, have we begun to understand the mistakes we have made. We lived in harmony among the Fae. In a world awakened to new magic. Perhaps we should have foreseen what might be born on this rising tide. What force might awaken. A force powerful enough to twist even the eternal and immutable faithful. <laughs> The new king of the Winter Court surprised us all. Singular among his people, he was all that other Fae were not. Aggressive, ambitious, visionary. He had power like none we had ever seen. Terrible and deadly. Gadflo and his followers, the Tuatha Deon, believed that a new god was to be born in the East beneath Gadflo's crystalline fortress of Amethyn. In the name of that god, they marched to war against the young races of Amalur. Against a mortal army, no matter the power of their god, we might have been victorious. But the Fae are creatures of magic, not bound by the laws of life and death. Each two us are fallen on the battlefield would soon rise again. For the Fae do not know death as we do. How could we stand against such a force? For ten years the war raged. For ten years the armies of men and Alpha fought and died. But as our numbers dwindled, we knew that it was only a matter of time. Our fate had been written. At least, that is what we believed. Until you died. Because that solves everything. Death. Yeah, no, that's not true. <laughs> death does not solve everything. But video game death is kind of fun. Just in case anyone's confused, Alfar, which is like humans and stuff, these guys, Tuatha, the guys in red. Because all of these are red. And I died. Or a fake to die. Which is a I'm excited. I really am. I don't like showing this scene do or watching this the scene, but Alpha, Barani, could even be a Jotun. Always a surprise, eh, Garan? Eyes on the job, boy. Don't matter what it is, dead's dead, and be thankful for that. All we've seen. Go on and pull back the sheet, though. It'll need to be in our report, one way or the other. 
be in the rapport one way or another. All right, so four of the uh, Alfar, sorry. I've played this game so much, and yet I've forgotten what it is. <laughs> Forgot what these people are. So Alfar, we have Almain, which is like non-seafaring human. Rani, seafaring human. Lucifer and Dukkelfar. Um, yeah, I don't know exactly what they are. But, I think I'm going to go with Dukkelfar simply because, uh, I pretty much always go all main because of the blacksmithing. But even though I don't use blacksmith until like later in the game, like extremely late in the game. Varani is also nice, and the Losafar is if I'm going mage. I hardly ever go Dukkelfar because I hardly ever go, um, rogue. Since we're doing a pure, pure warrior, I'm going to go Dukkelfar. And usually, I go female. Why? Because empower females, because thumbs up. But I'm going to go male, just just for this one. So, I choose Dukkelfar. Continue. I forgot how to play this game. Wisdom, love, death, fate, mischief, or none. Um... Aurelia, goddess of love and beauty. Maybe I could get some one day. Hmm, I think I'm gonna go with this one. Preset 5. The hair is amazing. The fact that it's white is nice. I need a good tattoo though. Maximum intensity. And yes, bright white. There we go, that looks befitting of a warrior. And we'll just go with that ring. Ear thing. The ear thing known as the ear ring. Let's go. He's a Dokulfar. <laughs> no surprise there. I've seen a lot of them. Though not usually in this good a shape. Alright then. Make sure it goes into the report. You know he'll want all the details. Amazing how well the body held up. Better than I've seen. I'm just glad it's not moving. Must have been born under a lucky star, this one. Anything else we need? Unless you'd like to name him, I think we're done. Put him with the others. He says put him with the others as he's pushing the card, which makes no sense. Because he's going to put me with the others. Obviously, Alzion. Well, that's it for you then. Better luck next time. Yeet. And the one scene I never truly watch in this game. Not because I don't like it, but because I just don't watch it. Alrighty, now that that's happened, oh I forgot, I changed that setting, I changed the setting so I don't have to hold the button to sprint anymore, it's so much better. Disposal notes, I don't really read this, that name is important though, Mr. Fomerus Hughes, pull the lever, goodbye, yeet, okay, and rusty sword. I have already lost four health somehow. 
I don't know how I've lost four health, but I have. They're all over. Run. <coughs> Scatter, children of dust. Scatter before the might of the Tuatha. As he gets pummeled by a gnome. Anyway. Hello, rats. I'm critical hitting. Stay away! Stay away! Help anybody! Help anybody! You up there, please help me! You up there, please help me! Alright, Ansel. Eat. Murder these fools real quick. I don't know why the game is lagging. For lagging. Stop it! There we go. Sorry, what? You died. No, leave me alone. Oh! I'm actually gonna get the stuff on before he uh, talks to me. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I, if you hadn't come late, I've seen you before. On the slab. You, you were dead. It worked. By the dome, it worked. Yeah, You're yeah, alive. yeah, 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 uh, well, shut uh, up. You died. I don't know how or even where. The well restored. We must get you to Professor uh, Hughes. Uh, okay. Sorry. This it just gets boring for me sometimes as the person who's played through right this tutorial way. because it's unskippable. I genuinely despise about this game. Or despise. I genuinely dislike. <laughs> I don't despise the tutorial. It's actually a pretty good tutorial. I just am tired of playing it. This is what they're after. Our greatest invention. The well of souls. Imagine an end to war. An end to death. An end to war. An end to death. Blown up. Why? Because they don't die. Alright. This. The only issue I have. Hang on, actually. There we go. I don't think you saw that, but I just moved up the capture. The capture thing on my computer. So I can useful. actually see the map. Not that you really care about that. There's the torn glove. I was wondering where I got that. But in here, it's not. It's the next story. Iron kite shield is something. Do you hear something? That is like what what a warrior would wear. But I hardly ever block because I'm on casual and I don't need to. If anything, I just hate mages. They are so annoying in this game to me. That one had a bow? Get it? Alrighty. Whew. Oh, there isn't a... Yeah. Pew. Pew. Just behead. Hurry up, Edsel. I don't got it all day. Or night to be specific. Specific. I cannot speak. Specific. Okay. Eat. Eat. Okay. And tatted documents. I'm actually gonna change this off of um, push for now because it was a uh, 
Like, it's good for when I am in later in the game and doing, like, long-distance stuff. Oof. Sorry. But, um, other than that, it's just kind of, like, annoying. What? what? Put your pants on, dude. But, yeah, so what we will be using is leg armor. And just as, like, a... I, I, I want to just say... Oh. To like a precursor, I will be using rogue weapons, which is like daggers and oddly enough bows. But because I like stealthing things, I'm gonna be a pure warrior. But I'm gonna stealth things. Sneak up on them with your daggers. You should be able to finish them quickly and quietly. And I hate how he says quickly and quietly. It's like, dude, you're being the loudest you possibly can. Alrighty. Curus. Armor. Um, uh, dented Curus. I have everything but the boots. And to be completely honest, I'm not sure where you get boots, but... The, mistake of the, gods. Easily the other reason I'm creeping, creeping up on here is because... I've never actually gotten to kill these two via stealth. I actually don't think it's possible. Oh, did you notice me? He just has. And everyone dies. I think that's useful. And here's a part of the game I will not be using, even though it's actually pretty cool. Magic! What are you? What am I? I'm a boss. Just kidding, I'm a Dokofar who was like, I don't want to be a rogue and kill people silently. I want to fight them. And also, I have magic. Giant spider. I should warn you if you have arachnophobia, this game is not for you. It's in all stages of the game, there are these things called giant spiders. There is nothing bigger than these spiders, but yeah, they're just. I do not have arachnophobia. I also have a staff of fire, so I'm not exactly scared of them. And yes, I know there is bones and a skull in here. And yes, I can sell the bones and skull. <laughs> it is not that hard. Oh man. My stomach. It's not like... I want to say like my stomach is hurting, but it's not like that. It's like I have a muscle that's just twitching. Really Hurry, get out of here. Shut up, Ensel. I'm explaining my bodily functions to my zero people who watch my videos. Wait. Okay, before I go around this corner. I have to do something real quick. And... Hello. Wait, you're not one of them. Insult. Get a life. And who is this? That's what I intend to find out. He came out of the well. What? Then he'd better get inside to see the old man. Quick, before those Twatha make another push. This is where we part ways. Oh, you right. you want, just make sure you get your shoes. I so need more help, as in you need to give me more potions. I'll see you on the outside. If fate wills it. Oh. Wait oh. up. I'm dying. That the armor is thin. But yeah. I need to equip my daggers again. Alrighty. 
very special scene. Or, very special scene. Very special point in the game, because I can have two things equipped at once. V? Hold on, I, I want to show you this. I don't think it's the... I hardly ever use this feature, so it's not... It's not super important. Where is it? Shoulder camera? Is that what it is? Eh, it doesn't matter. It, it just gives you a better view of the place. Not that you really need that. But anyway, it's probably a 40 minute video because we had a 5 minute start. And I want to actually get out into the game to show you other stuff. But here's somebody who's very important. You've made it! And look at you! Even with all you've been through, the Tuatha, your return from the dead, Please forgive me. You must be terribly confused by all of this. I am Fomorous Hughes, and this is my laboratory at Alistar. Everything you see here is dedicated to one thing, the Well of Souls, the pursuit of immortality. And you, you're my first success. If we only had the time, there's so much we might learn from one another. Alrighty, so here you can um, like do more lore things and ask him about stuff. I'm not going to do that. Just simply put, I don't have the time. Anyway, Too much I want to get out right now. The Dwarthra have come to stop my work, but I don't believe they know about you. Not yet. What's important is getting you out of here safely. I may not be able to save the web. Yes? Fascinating. Simply astounding. I'm not certain what's caused it, but somehow... Uh, yes, as I was saying, I'm not sure what... Perhaps I should go see. Sir! Sir! Mr. Hughes! The dwarf have reached the lab! That inside the bar! No, not Ansel. Yeet. No! We've got to get you out of here now! Quickly! Follow the path to the town of Gorhart. Find Agath. He's a friend, and he may be able to help. No matter what else, stay alive! Yeah. Go! 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 Alrighty. There's a bit of, um, an issue with me trying to escape this tower. Number one. This is where the game tells you how to sprint, so, me sprinting that entire time? Yeah. That wouldn't happen. Now, here is a certain reason why I like the stealth things. I like to take daggers, because if you get stealth kills, it's basically an instant kill and you get experience, so why the heck not? Do gotta walk over here. No! Why did you get up? That's never happened before. Alrighty. I can open this chest up. Alrighty, and the gate is this way. Alrighty. Here is the fun part of the tutorial. <laughs> Be a troll. We gotta take him out. Oh no! Oh, I did jump away. Alright, now it's your turn. I know it doesn't look very entertaining, but it's a vital one. 
taking down a rock troll. It begins your troll crusade, as, every, as you will soon see the longer this video gets. I will have to kill a lot of trolls. And here is the core part of the game that is really fun. I'll explain, or well, the game will explain what that was later. Okay. Let's get out of this tower. Alrighty. Welcome to Alistar Glade. And leveling up. So here's all the stuff in the game. Stealth, basically, it, it explains it already, but basically allows it to be sneaky mode. Sagecraft allows you to make gems, which are very useful late in the game, or well, when you, whenever you're crafting, basically, and you can socket them. Persuasion allows, or it opens up more dialogue options. Can You can get help from people. You can actually find a lot of cool stuff by investing in persuasion. Mercantile is the art of buying and selling stuff. Lockpicking is lockpicking. Dispelling is basically like a chest system that you have to uh, take it out. Detect hidden, which I'm going to level up here, is a way to find hidden treasures and stuff, and it is really nice. When you get level 2 detect hidden, it is so nice. Blacksmithing is also really good for late in the game, and alchemy is only good if you want to make a certain potion. In my opinion, I mean, if you're playing on a harder difficulty, alchemy is definitely something you want to do. But for now, what I do on casual is basically max detection, max blacksmithing, max sagecraft, and by that time I've probably beaten the game. So, <laughs> yeah. Here are our trees. Sorcery is obviously a mage, finesse is obviously a rogue, and might, which we will be going, is obviously a warrior. We always get three skill points when you level up. I will do Longsword Mastery 1, Hammer Mastery, and Harpoon. The reason I do Hammer Mastery is there is always a chance I get a hammer. So, let's go. Uh, you can talk to these people. I saw your fight in there. Did they really have, have a troll? A fate was Good luck out there. Anyway. So, into the light, our next quest. We're going to be searching around this area because... There is a lot of hidden stuff in this area. Of course, I cannot get reagents, which is like the stuff used to craft potions and stuff. I don't have. Oh, okay. I did not need to dodge there. Nice double kill. Alrighty, so. Yep. Those are giant rats, they're just nothing more than annoying nuisances. Leather hood, that's the rogue hat. I don't need it. So, here is the first lockpicking uh, scenario. This is what a lockpick lock pick scenario looks like. Basically, uh, your D key moves the thing at the top. You gotta move this pick around and get to a certain area. And when it starts doing that, it means it is about to break. Pick is about to break. Uh, how I disagree with that. Cotton shoes don't help. I disagree with that. I should have not have broken a pick. That was stupid. Anyway, this is what I'm talking about with the spelling. It's pretty easy. I, in my last game, which I actually like, focused on the spelling. I actually uh, beat a lot of very hard ones. Look at that, we got an iron longsword. Uh, I beat a lot of the harder ones with just like base level dispelling. So yeah, it's the same thing. But we have an iron longsword, it does physical damage. Nice. I mean, no crap, it does physical damage. But yeah. So anyway, there's these whirlpools around here. Ooh, another crude iron longsword. That'll only help me if I can make a longsword. 
which actually I can, and I will, I think. What does, um, status skills, harvest components, okay, yeah, I think I can do it, it's fine. A numbing scepter, a dual scepter, in fact. It's a mage weapon that uses uh, a small bit of mana for each shot, and this is one of the rarest things you can find in the game, is a, like a weapon that does two types of damage. It's called Numbing Scepter, but it has the fire thing around it, because it does fire and ice damage. So that's interesting, I won't be using it, obviously. Over here, another aspect of the game, there are shrines, and over here is one of my favorite parts of the game. You can save this guy. That's that bloodthirsty berry eater. You! I remember you. You're... You're the one? How did you come back? How did you find me here? What are you doing out here? No, I had no idea anything. You know? well, if I never wanted anyone to get hurt. I don't... I don't have, I Pay don't me and you live! And he gives you gold. <laughs> it's basically useless. If you don't save him, he'll just sit there for the rest of the game, basically. <laughs> so, oh, hi! I didn't see you. As much as I love wolves... Oh, come on. As much as I love wolves... What the heck? They are kind of annoying to fight. If they keep piling on you. But yeah. Thing over here. There is a location. The Stone Candle Mines. I don't go into things unless I need to for the most part. There is loot in there, but I really don't uh I don't do anything. Alright. You've come from the tower, haven't you? Name's Agar. Maybe you can help an old fate weaver, eh? Alrighty. Hello, Agar. Did he? You sent me what to find shame. you. He's probably dead. He's, He's probably not. dead. The old man took it pretty well, honest. I suppose I could spare a little help. Do, do, do. I woke up in the tower. Here's Tuatha. Blah, blah, blah. None of this matters. You smell the what? The what? No, it is not. <laughs> it's not time for a drink. Now, this is called Reckoning Mode. Or at least, that's what I like to call it. And now, he is about to, uh, Argoth is about to explain what is actually going on. Oh. What? How? What are you? The threads of fate. I've seen them before, but I've never seen anyone manipulate them like that. You just changed how the world was supposed to work. <laughs> he looks like how a midget. How did you do that? Because <laughs> I'm standing on a ledge. You just... Fate, fate is the, the will, will of the, the gods. gods. Yeah. Come, I promise not you know, to tell you. That would be my... Your, or, you know, it would like... I'd care. I should be. If, uh... You know... The gods actually mattered in this game. But yeah. So, we're gonna be going the might path, obviously. Brawler. I like how it gives block efficiency, yet... This is true. And I'm not... I'll meet you at his... What could this I'm gonna give block mean? efficiency, even though I am never gonna block. Alright, so we need to meet Arden, but there will be a host of things that we need to do first. I should get a couple quests. So my game freezes. There it is, the Legend of Dead Kel. Alfar Navy recruitment letter. Here's this thing. There are lore stones scattered around this game. Teeth and Arsenal is another quest. Basically, they just tell a bunch of humble jumble. But they give you bonuses, so I try to go look for them. Special delivery! This is my... This is probably the stupidest quest in the game. Yeah. Go 
so this is special delivery <laughs> it's all of this stuff but basically it's just a bunch of stuff here's it, it I would I wouldn't exactly call it a cheat because you do buy this stuff to basically start the game but yeah is this a staff no it's a longsword we're gonna take it but yeah we are going to be using this stuff the tower oh I took the forge I guess we're gonna be using the forge well we won't be using the forge actually we'll be using the knight because that's what I need and we need to take all the guardian stuff alrighty By the way, you will not see a helmet uh, in the game, as because I have a certain option turned on to where I don't have the helmet. Uh, so yeah, this is what I look like, but you will see the helmet. As far as weapons go, primary, we shall be using the beast. Uh, let's see. The beast is the destroyer. Obviously, you can read this. And as for a secondary, we'll be using the knight. Oh, there are daggers. So, basically all of this is meant to represent Fate Weaver cards, which I think is really fun. But I'm going to end it off here. When we come back, we shall be Rosie talking with Adwold. And, well, thanks for watching. And I will see you guys later.